Right now, you're in my playhouse. This is a little kid's side, big kid's side. You'll have access to hammers, saws, nails, things like that. If you need tools, you can find them at the shed. Here, you can build whatever you want. Boats, rocket ships. It's a super fun place. My name is Eve Mosher. I'm one of the founders of Playground NYC. As parents, we spend so much time on the playground saying like, be careful, oh, don't, you should do it this way. And here we really, we we're very adamant about saying step back, let the kids try it. My upbringing was really different than my kids. I was running around the neighborhood. The rule was, come home when the lights come on. I think we've taken away a lot of experience for kids that helps them be stronger adults. I love arts and crafts. I barely get a chance to do like big stuff. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist. Developmentally, it's, it's an amazing program to have. It's a, it's a place where kids can do their primary occupation, which is playing. It can help you cognitively, emotionally, um, and motor skill wise. I saw kids with like hammers and saws. It was like a little scary, but I was able to observe them and they're actually like pretty intuitive with the tools. It was cool to see them be so like independent and aware that there are risks associated with certain things. I think it, it, it can teach kids to be able to function in different environments and maybe use some of their analytical or critical thinking skills. So there are a lot of things on the playground that do encourage risk taking. There are tall buildings, there are planks that kids can walk on, and it gives kids a better sense of just sort of their body and how they move. And it does allow them to judge for themselves and to become confident that they can do things because they're testing their own boundaries. So I'm gonna go there. Okay, if you want to go to there, we got different a, shoes. Yeah, we need different shoes for you to protect okay. your feet. Okay. Let's go. Have fun. I'm gonna go check it out. Buggy. Go have a look around and see what's going on. It is a safe space, but you know, not every kid and not every parent is, is, is up for it. There are some people who stay there at the fence the whole time, but some people you can really see their shift and they recognize that actually my kids are totally fine in here. We can sit back and relax and let them take risks and let them make decisions for themselves and they're going to be okay. When I first started, I had the instinct of saying like, don't do that. Very quickly I realized that kids are just like little people. If they need help, a lot of times another kid jumps in right away, like, oh, I can help you do that. If they're having an argument about something, if you give them a chance, they'll come up with a compromise. I mean, there are points when you do have to step in, but a lot of times I might not speak to a kid all day because they figure it out on their own. Having the freedom to create, having adults trust you to make these kinds of choices, that's very beneficial because it teaches you how to solve problems with other peers. So I built a tire swing and there are a bunch of kids playing with it and I'm pretty happy. We're running out of spaces for kids to play, like freely. If we can convince people that this is something very valuable, it'll really make a big difference and change the culture. You, you should allow your kids to play around without being judged. I'm Eve Mosher and I'm a scary mommy.